Yeah, it just sounds sad. Ooh, that was actually better. Let's compare. Let's blow your nose versus the Mallard's duck thing. You ready? Let me you do yours first. <laughs> yours is a little louder. It makes me laugh every time. Welcome to the Preacher Podcast, brought to you by Trentendo and the Baltic Effect. My mm-hmm. name is Trent. This is Nate. Hi, I'm Nate. Um, and just, I just before we get too into anything, I want to point out something that uh, the, the people that watched the video part of this on YouTube knew that I did something that basically predicted something that happened in this episode. Something that some people were wearing. What did you do? You'll have to watch the video and find out. So, so if you're just uh, listening to this on uh, iTunes or whatever your podcast, yeah, there's secret, there's there's secret visual things that we don't talk about. Yeah. So go back and watch it. Go to YouTube and do a search for Trentino. If you're just watching this and you just want the podcast, go to iTunes. Look up the Baltic Effect. Yeah. If you're an idiot. Yeah. (laughs) Actually, subscribe to a new podcast. Well, not a new podcast. I it's new to me, but I subscribe to a podcast that uh, that's been around for like ever. But, um, uh uh-oh, so this is happening. Nate, what time is it? I'll tell you what time it is. I'll tell you what time it is, Trent. I'll tell... Do you want me to start over? Do you want to start over? I got an idea. Like, step over there. Step over there. We're going to start over. We're going to start over. Okay. It's okay. You'll you'll know. You'll know the sign. All right, just trust me. Ladies and gentlemen, Nate Bjork. Closing time. Uh, one, one left call for alcohol. Just finish your whiskey and beer. I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. Take me home Way down in Tipperary where the cow pop is thick Where women are young and the lads all come quick There live pretty Charlotte, the girl we adore The pride of Sahar Erin, the scarlet-haired whore it's Charlotte the Harlot, the girl's girl we adore. The pride of dear Erin, the scarlet haired. Oh, that's, that's, nice. that's for you, Dennis. Oh, very nice. Please don't, please don't, please don't uh, kick me off for that, you two. Please don't, please don't make my. I think again. that last one was public domain. <laughs> Probably so. Well done. I'm not gonna lie. I heard you tune it up down there. Yeah. And if I, I, I my ukulele is hidden over there. Yeah. I was gonna do closing time because I thought you were doing. Oh yeah. I was like, well, he's doing it. Well, shit. Damn it. You <laughs> should do closing time, and then we'll start over again. And I'll, I'll just do, start over. Again. I'll just do Charlotte the Harlot. <laughs> no, no, no. Because it's like it's four chords. It's like it's like what, yeah. what A G A minor F. On uh, the ukulele, that's all it G, is. G D A minor C. I mean, it's a different key probably for you. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> all right. So now that you've, uh, you're welcome. We're done for the week. I kind See of fucked it up a little bit, but that's no. okay. No. Yeah, but for just running out and doing it. How, how long did you take to learn it? Like 10 minutes? I mean, I just looked it up. and Like I just now? <laughs> I just, yeah, I just spent, I, I just memorized what the order of the chords were, and then I spent the rest of the time looking up the weird lyrics to Charlotte the Harlot. Yeah. And clearly I didn't practice it very well. Hey, I think you did great, buddy. You know what? It's okay. Well, now that that's happened, what time is it? It's time for the Napier Podcast Pod Quiz. We have submitters of questions. What? Um, uh, if you want to submit questions to this quiz, this thing that's going to happen, send it to Nate at NateBjork.com. We have Brick Tales. woo All right. Got to run. So just a couple of quick questions for this week. Okay. What girl do we adore? Uh, Aaron. A Scarlet the Harlot. I thought it was Aaron, the Aaron Scarlet-haired the, whore. Um, Charlotte the Harlot is the actual lyrics, but I think... He might have been saying Scarlet the Harlot, but Dear Aaron, the pride of Dear Aaron, Aaron means Ireland. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
Lame. Next question. That's not lame. It's just because I got it the wrong. Pride of, she's the pride of their country. Don't care. Got it wrong. It's lame. Next question. Um, I had my computer fixed by the Geek Squad. Who did Jesse turn to for technical help? The Dork Docs. Yep. And then later he calls them the Dorks. Oh, oh, never mind. That's a question of mine, but he also references. Okay. This is a this is for everyone who watches on AMC.com where they constantly show the same commercials. Okay. According to boys, so not us. According to Boys to Men, what can your prescription cause? Boys to Men? Mm-hmm. Um, I never listened to Boys to Men. I was already a man. It's not true. I was a kid when they were yeah. nice and stuff. Uh, I was going to say. I can only think of Bone Thugs and Harmony, which is completely um, different. Well, it's, he's talk, talking about commercials that are on an AMC. Okay. So, cool. what can your prescription cause? What would normally it would be? It, Diarrhea! Dizziness, nausea, and chronic flatulence. Not so not what I said at all. No. All right, cool. Um, I've got some follow ups. Okay. What year Good questions, Brick Tales. Good questions, Brick Tales. What year we watch it on Amazon Prime. Uh-huh. Amazon Prime for a low 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 annual fee mm-hmm. plus the fee of renting buying this subscription of this show. But don't buy CISO. Dennis was born in what year? So was it nineteen forty three? Forty six? That's the one. Forty six. Shit. Um, the Dork Docs, at one point, Jesse called I watched them... this entire episode again in about 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Dork Docs, Jesse called them, um, what? Dorks. <laughs> Dork Dudes. Dork Dudes! Okay. Which it seems like, it seems like what something Jesse would call yeah. them. What? I think. I could be wrong about this. When they have all... See, the... I think the song is too Charlotte. I think it's too Charlotte, but they're talking about Aaron. I don't, I think that maybe it's like a double... Look think, it up, I, dude. I think that I'm right. Aaron means Ireland. Would you look it up on the internet? Full of lies! Just think about it. I think I'm right. I'm kidding. <laughs> you're you're, not, you're, no, I'm you're Irish. I know. Oh. I, which is why. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to argue it for no reason. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's Aaron, Nate. Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I, I get it. You Wikipedia it. No, I read it in it on the preacher. <laughs> okay, well, that's. Those guys now are, that you those said that, guys I do, do feel bad. Those guys do their research. <laughs> Because they, otherwise they get called bad. Words. You're right. They would never troll on Reddit. Yeah. No. Never. No. Never. Um, actually, what I did was I Googled what song does Cassidy sing in Preacher, and, and that Reddit, was the first thing yeah. that came up. Reddit's everywhere, man. Um, and they even showed a. They played a link to the. They played a link to a video in hmm. the Reddit hmm. on YouTube. Sure. Click down here for not, the link. Not putting it there. Yeah. Click right there. Not putting it there. Um, what? Okay, so when when uh, Cassidy comes home and Tulip's got the refrigerator out and she's got all the shit loading into the refrigerator and she got all the sacks of blood, I think there there's different types. They have the A, B, they have the A, they have O, whatever. What is the RH factor? Do they all have zero? They all have an RH factor of positive. Ah, uh, all the ones on the table. Mm-hmm. So I couldn't even see that. Um, yeah, I think. I paused it and I couldn't tell, but... You're not... You, you weren't positive? First, I wasn't positive. Uh, oh, lands. Well, first first re- viewing I watched with one contact in. Second viewing I watched on screen about... Eh, big. Yeah. Yeah, so I didn't even see it. Who can suck it? Oh, um... The ex-boyfriend? No. I don't know. Who can suck it? Me. Count Chocula. Oh, ha, 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 that's it. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. It's oh, a good weird, know. good weird, boring scene. Yeah. Um. I don't know if it was boring. It was weird. We'll get to it. Okay. <laughs> um. Do you want to talk about things, or should I? Oh, is that it? Episode. Yeah, those are the questions. You win. Um, Yay! No, I did terrible. I think I did better than last week, but only just barely. If so. The episode's called Holes. Mm-hmm. Here are the holes. You got hole the hole that Eugene got thrown down. Mm-hmm. You got the holes in the walls. The hole in his face. Mm-hmm. The hole in his yeah. prison. Right, but I was thinking um, of the thematic ones. Mm-hmm. Those are also true. You think that this isn't a thematic one? What are you talking about? Well, he got thrown it's in a... It's always a thematic one, the face hole. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm messing with you. I'm okay, around. okay, fine. Um, How does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> like a rolling stone. <laughs> Sorry. Continue with the thematic holes. Um, so that that was it. Well, no, I mean, well, so there's a hole he got thrown in. There's the the hole in the walls. There's the I'm assuming like maybe hole as far as like them not being able to 
you know, find the uh, stuff on the DVD. Maybe it's the hole in the DVD. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think that would be stretching it, but I think the whole, like... So you think it only applies to, like, in the hole and then Well, I'm thinking of when they the called hole. it holes. They no, were thinking no, no. of those things. Two that's things. What I'm so you think it was just mostly those? Just, yeah, that's yeah, yeah it would be stretching it for anything else. Sure, sure, sure. So, mm, things I liked about this episode. Mm -hmm. um, the funny dude doc, dorks. Dork, yeah, dork docs were cool. They were they funny. They were thinking it was like he wanted to, like... Cover it up. Cover it up. That was fun. Yeah, and they were they were like, it's New Orleans. We've seen everything. Yeah. And it's like, watching that, yeah, you would think that it's just some kind of crappy, yeah. like, independent or local theater thing or something. And I feel like if I w went to New Orleans and I they had them say, it's New Orleans. We've seen everything. It's the cool one of saying, hey, we're in Portland. Aren't we weird? Like, <laughs> yes, we know. And oh, you're very, roasted. You're very self-aware, Austin. Just roasted. <laughs> uh, so, um... I know, I get you. That, I like Eugene and Hell. Mm -hmm. That was cool. Zagnut, which is apparently a real candy That's bar. That's a real candy I've bar. I've literally only ever seen it in the movie Beetlejuice. Okay. I was actually reading uh, someone talking about the episode today, and they, they referenced Beetlejuice as well. I'm like, okay, so it's not just me that right. sees Zagnut and thinks Beetlejuice. Is it still made? I don't know. You, you said it's apparently a real thing, so you must have looked it up. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen one before, so... But oh, you didn't. Well, I, I didn't look it up. You said it's real. So oh, I, I thought you. Me. I thought you already knew. No. I, well, I looked up on Reddit. So Zag <laughs> Nut. I think it had a Wikipedia page or something. I was like, "Is, is Zag Nut real?" And it was just like, "Zag Nut is a such and such." I go, "Okay, that's good enough for me." <laughs> so the guy not trusting the internet barely read whatever the article was. But uh, but no, no no no. I saw that and immediately thought of Beetlejuice. It says he is a candy bar, so still let it done. It was uh, oh. launched in 1930. Which would make sense that it's down, like in hell. Like they just mm -hmm. had a ton of almost like the, like those Malamar bars or, or whatever those bars were in, in Lost that people were getting because they it was like it was an actual old candy bar, and so of course the Dharma Initiative would have bought up a, like a shit ton of them and I'm still using them. But, uh, but yeah, no, I thought that was cool. Freaking his uh, his uh, has Eugene always been that jacked? You know, I don't know. Hard to say. So he's always wearing like long sleeves, or they're not really paying attention to it. Yeah. But also, he after the jackedness went down a little bit after he was done doing the pull-ups. But as he was doing, yeah. he's like swole. Huh. Sure, he got that Tracy tattoo. Do you think that's a hell prison tattoo or a? He got it in real life. Yeah. Ooh, what if he did get it in real life? You know, because like he was still alive for a while after that. And he could have went to somebody like being all sad and everything, and been like tattoo my tattoo Tracy in my dick. Yeah. What do you think? I'd like to think it happened before he died. I think it's a hell tattoo. Okay. Either way, I'm cool with it, but mm -hmm. it does raise questions for it to all of a sudden be there. And you can see he's acting more of like a butthole now to people. Yeah, except when they can't, except when, except when he's being subtle when the cameras can't see it. For sure. example, mm -hmm. he's like, "Get out of my way!" Gets his, grabs his egg nut, and then he he quietly says to the guy taking a shit, uh, "Do you want this?" And he's like, "I'll save it for later." Mm -hmm. um, so like that kind of thing, or like when he didn't. He um, turned down the volume of the fire TV for the guy, and, but he didn't. And, but then, like, he went like, "What are you looking at?" to Hitler. <laughs> so, like, which is how you talk to Hitler. Yeah, but like, so he was, so he was like, he was hiding his niceness. Sure, sure, sure. But he and, was still nice, and he couldn't help. Like, it's like he's trying to hide. It. He's trying mm -hmm. to put a front on and everything. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, so yeah, that's happening. Um, I, you know, earlier we talked about them like playing. Yeah, nicers get slices. Nices get slices. <laughs> He's gonna say nicers get slicers. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. Nicers get slicers. Um, but uh, you know, we I talked about before about how you know them playing down, you know, Hitler's being like, oh, 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 Hitler might not have been such a bad guy. They're really playing down hell as well. It's like, okay, so <laughs> you're a bad dude if you trip someone <laughs> that's worthy of hell. <laughs> it's worthy of you standing next to Hitler. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. Any, they praise people doing little bitty like mean shits to people, like little mm -hmm. bitty bullyings, as opposed to like, you know, sinning. Mm -hmm. I'm not, not sure. I buy like, what do you mean? Well, I just think I'm that not, I, don't I, know what I you're think saying. that like the place of the evilest of evil is a bunch of like high schoolers like pranking each other. Is, is like the amount of what they're sure, having. but but like when hell's like real, mm -hmm. when it's like when when they're not having technical difficulties, it's horrible. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, internally and everything. But, I mean, when they get them all together, I just think that it's like, if, if one thing was played down, I feel like this was played down as well. 
I don't know. I just don't see people slicing each other up. You know, I don't see the, like, mountains of bodies tearing each other apart see, in the fire. See, that's the interesting thing, then. Um, it's not all just monsters who are in hell in this world. Mm -hmm. It's people who've done bad things. I get that. Like, um, you know, like a, um, a mom who Set murders her, her children yeah. wouldn't just walk around slicing people up on her day-to-day -day life. No, but I'm just saying, like, the, the amount of, like, bad stuff that, that, the, that the hell uh, administration or the hell janitors are looking for. They're just like, if you trip someone... You see what I'm saying? Like I think they're I think it's not so much they're looking for people to be bad, they just don't want them to be nice. I know, but it just seems kind of weak sauce. Okay. Just saying. It just that's yeah. the way it feels to me. No, that's fine. But uh especially if you're gonna like play down Hitler. I don't think Hitler also is going around like tripping people. Like I think it's kinda like that's it's for what it is, it's cool, but I just I'm like I, I just I don't I want, think that's the point. I it's I, I Okay, well that's what I got out okay. of it. When I was always okay. watching it. Sure, sure. That's sure. how it felt to me, and sure. it looked silly. Okay. So, just moving on with that. I, I'd like to move forward with with hell. I'd like to... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I want to see more of Eugene, but, like, I don't feel like it's been moving really slow as much as maybe I've been excited to see what's going to happen next. Sure. So, so, I'm ready for that. I think that's what we're getting ready for. I'm hoping the next time that we see him, you know, it's like, it's it's prison. Ray of Great Escape. Yeah, the Great Escape. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Great Escape. They, they didn't. It wasn't. It wasn't that great. It's cool. Mm -hmm. It was a cool attempt, mm -hmm. but no one wants to buy that a ticket. That doesn't rhyme. The, the cool, sort of. the cool. That's not a near rhyme. <laughs> it was the it was the the exempt attempt. Exempt attempt. Sorry, Steve McQueen. But uh, okay, so so we had that going on, and then I, I don't know. Maybe I'm not going out on a limb here, but I think probably one of those perverse things that we've seen so far. Maybe I don't know. Help me out on this one. Like watching a high school girl give preacher a hand job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was good. I remember when that scene was finished. You said you were just like, "Oh my!" Or you said something. Yeah. There was some kind of an exclamation. Mm -hmm. And I was it like, was, "Yeah, it's rough." <laughs> it was yeah. It was brutal. <laughs> it can get worse. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. Like your worst day, mm -hmm. you can get it can get worse. For you in hell. Yeah. And, and this it's, it, that's an interesting thing. Because we usually, when we in popular culture, we think of hell as being the absolute worst thing forever. Mm -hmm. But it's cope. I mean, this is a, this, it's already unbearable. Mm -hmm. um, and it can get worse. I mean, that's, that seems reason, reasonable, right? That's yeah. It's just an interesting, it's a different model of the hell thing. It makes me wonder if like, because, you know, I was thinking, oh, wait, you got past that moment. Just leave. <laughs> you know, just yeah. like, leave the room. But I wonder if, and obviously it was his first time doing it, going through that when we saw it, we think. I'm just wondering if, like, maybe it's so traumatic to that person. Like, it's not that traumatic to us. I don't fucking know, Tracy. But, uh, you know, maybe it's so traumatic to a person, they don't try and leave. They don't try and go out there. Maybe the door is locked. I don't oh, know. Oh, no. I think once the simulation starts, they're locked in. So you think that it forces that them... Okay. Yeah. So I was thinking it was like so traumatic they couldn't break their um, brain and not. No, they. they you know. I think they kept doing. You. I think they're. I think they're stuck inside and their body's doing the same thing like when you're in a dream and okay. you're doing something you want. That's a do. good point. Okay. That's what I think it is. Except for when they're doing the ex whatever. What was it in the hole? Because um, at one point Eugene was like it's the same, but then he feels his mouth and um, you know when he go he, he goes through this another simulation mm -hmm. he goes in and he feels his mouth. And then he kisses her, and she's like, and then you could see him clicking like this is different, mm -hmm. like oh you're not. He even mad. says like yeah yeah. I'm saying um, you're not so mad. so I think in that case, but like in parts where they're reliving their life, they don't get free will in that. They're just right. redoing it. Okay. They're stuck in it forever. So that so okay. All right, yeah, because otherwise you could just say no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's what I would have been like. Like, like hey, g glad that you're well. Been in hell a little while. Got a jet. <laughs> Got a hankering for some not zag nut. Mm -hmm. And I got a mouth again. Oh, they're not juicing zag nuts for them in hell. Mm-mm. Mm. Did I find a hole in their plan there? Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's a thematic hole. <laughs> that he can't eat the zag nut. You know what you don't want to do? You don't want to use duct tape to wipe your hole. Oh, my God. Wasn't that crazy? Yeah. Like, the, 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 the toilet paper in hell is duct tape. Two wipes, and you're... That's a free Brazilian. I will say that that is the... Because, like, before it was like... And I get what you're saying. That, yeah, it's not the norm of hell. They're in this little, you know, gin pop mm -hmm. or whatever. But 
<laughs> it, well, I was just like, this isn't so fucking bad. And then when he does that, I was like, all right, that's eh, fuck hell, Jesus. No. Oh no, no. They were just like, if they, someone was just, what's you, okay? You're in a room, been there long enough. You got to poop, got a toilet. Mm -hmm. All you got is toilet paper. Well, I guess you fold it. All I've got is toilet paper. Not toilet paper. I'm sorry, duct tape. Um. But I guess if you could, you could fold it in half. I'm uh, wiping. I'm I'm slowly but surely wiping with parts of my clothes and throwing that part away. <laughs> okay. I'm using cloth. I'm using cloth, baby. But you could fold the, the duct tape like on itself. You could, but you're not getting a good. You're not getting good absorption. Sure, but what happens when your clothes run out? Kill some. Kill someone. Take, take their someone's clothes. Houses. Yeah. You're not going in the hole, man. And then <laughs> all when all the things are done, fuck it. Just let your. You know what? Sit. What you gotta do is get the cleanest poop possible. So you get into your your prime squat position. Yeah, haunch it. Haunch it, poop, and then just wait. Hmm. Wait. You, you know, don't want to get a hemorrhoid, but like you you wait until like the You let nature dry. do this thing. Yeah. I mean <laughs> I'm glad that we discussed this. What would we do in hell? <laughs> yeah. So let's uh, anything else in hell before we move forward? Um because I mean that's a, I think that's a big, like, th honestly the whole episode of me was a tweener. It's not okay. bad, just okay. a tweener. I think it was a prep. I feel like hell was a prep for uh, him and Satan's hopeful prison break. Mm -hmm. That's what it seems like to me. Um, and I don't remember anything about that. I, I remember some of it from the comments. I don't remember Hitler and him like teaming up for a prison break. So mm -hmm. either it's not in there. I just don't remember. I don't think Hitler can get out. I think it's a, if there's going to be a prison mm -hmm. break. A person who's not supposed to be in hell can get out. And maybe he's maybe that's why he's got maybe he's like he realizes he doesn't belong there. He thinks that's his thing he needs out. Because he said he knew like the inner workings of shit, because he was like essentially a custodian when he first got there. Mm -hmm. So anyway, can't wait to see that. And we ever I think everybody gets happy when we see Eugene a little bit. Yeah. So, um, RC Face. It's interesting. I've never called him anything but RC Face for years when I've talked about the comic until now when we call him Eugene so much. Mm. So, it's interesting. Yeah. Anyway. All so right. they call him R Space in the in the comic. That's his name. Okay. In fact, on the like Am even when even when Cassidy is not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On, even on Amazon Prime, you know the thing, the X ray thing that comes mm -hmm. up on the screen. He's listed as R Space. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the comic character's name, even though he has another mm -hmm. name. His name is Robert Paulson. So mm -hmm. what else was, was going on in the episode? I think Tulip was the other kind of like long running thing, even though. I, once again, I, I feel like they're not giving they're not giving our girl enough, man. I think it's it's just yeah, she's still dealing with the stupid thing, and that's fine. It makes me sound like unsympathetic to people that go through PTSD for this, mm -hmm. but this isn't a real person. If she was my friend and was going through this in real life, I would like do what it needed to, to do to like I'd listen to him as long as it takes. That's my friend. We're watching a show here, <laughs> like I don't I don't I, I understand from the get she's shook by this. I get it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but it slowly gave us, you know, the way to her, you know, accidentally stumbling upon the guild that's watching them. Yeah. Um, played by, uh, Nancy, Ke not N Nancy, whatever, Kettleman. <laughs> oh, right. She's always Miss Kettleman to me. So, yeah. Um, that was, um, I mean, like, why was... I, I'm sorry. I just I don't understand. Okay, what's up? Why? No, I just don't get the holes. Why she was having to cover them up? Like, okay. I mean, I guess I don't understand PTSD, but that's fine. Yeah, I don't get it either. Like, I don't like maybe if she wanted to cover that one because she knew it was there. Yeah, fine. I mean, I guess. Uh, yeah. Um, maybe. But what I did like, do. I do like that cool. I do like it when when someone like quick changes up a room. <laughs> you know? And then puts on the worst outfit of all. Yeah, things. yeah. And then like what? And then but and also Tulip when she got her back to the, make sure that I'm still in that mic. Um, there's a mic up there, guys. Yeah, um, I've seen it a couple of when I um when she's doing the thing and she's like turns and she's like yeah and that's why you got that gun like she she spotted that on gun. the way in she knew it was there yeah, yeah, yeah. she just well she probably like one she of those probably cased the room. exits and the uh, yeah yeah she's like what if what can I best use for. Her? Uh, like a weapon should shit go down. I thought of a hole. Mm. Why didn't they just set up their uh, little um, uh, spying party in the other room? What other room? There's presumably more rooms than that one in the apartment. Oh sure, yeah. <laughs> I, I would assume there's another. I could see into. I guess. One. I guess. That guy's hiding somewhere. Um, like why not set up where it's not literally right in front of the door? 
And then you don't oh, have to do oh, a quick in change. that in that apartment built. Yeah, room. yeah. I don't know. Like, well, did they? I don't think they even thought. I don't think it even occurred to them. Nope. And that's you where know? they're gonna fail until yeah. Hair Star gets there, man. Well, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. But no, there were good things in it. You know, like she's like belittling the other guy. There was the booberry conversation. Mm -hmm. Got here, can't try to suck it. Can't we forgot mm -hmm. that. Um, and it was cool. I wonder if, you know, there is going to be any of them hanging out or if it's just going to be like, wait a minute, I was nice to you and now you're all betraying me and stuff. And they're going to be like, yes, we did. Wig off. Yeah. But, uh, but that's building as well. And then that's kind of merged a little bit what's going on with Jesse. Jesse spent the whole time at, what's it called? Circuit? Circuit? Cir crew? Circuit? 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 Place? place? Circuit? Circuit place. <laughs> circuit place. Circuit kitty. Circuit Kitty. And he spent the whole time there and uh, missed the, the little bit of, you know, the, the one clue that he actually had. Yeah. We've already discussed a bit of business with the, the dork docs, which you knew is like, like when you write a scene and you got to have like a couple of nerds in it all of a mm -hmm. sudden, that's when you're like, okay, let's yeah. do some comedy here. Yeah, yeah, They're going to yeah. be all excited and overly yeah, cool yeah, yeah, outside yeah. the counter. Uh -huh. And this one wasn't overdone. I think it was just enough. I think I appreciated that. Like... No, we have duct tape on our mask and tape on our glasses. It wasn't like that. No, 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 we didn't have pocket protectors. I mean, let's face facts. Those guys movie? are there. There, those guys are there because an old person forgot to plug their shit in. Yeah, you know exactly. Yeah, they turned it off and turned it back on. Mm -hmm. The other day, my boss came to me. We work in tech support at a, a place, and my boss comes to me and she was like, "Something's going on with my computer," and I said, "Have you turned it off? Turned it back on?" And she just like looked at me. It's mad. She walks away and she comes back. She's like, "I got it now." Because mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. when you when you work on stuff, sometimes you forget like the easy stuff. Yeah. And she was just like, "Because that's the same thing she would have told somebody to do." That's why she just kind of like, yeah. at me like, Shit. <laughs> and I said, "I'll be fifteen dollars." Nice. Yeah. All right. So, um, for me, for some reason, and I feel like they did even less. For some reason, Cassidy was a little more intriguing of all the storylines to me this episode. Like, but it was just him sitting around watching Dennis die. He was having his internal struggles. Yeah. Well. Everyone's having internal struggles. He's asking that advice. He's asking Tulip. He's asking um, the unnamed uh, guy on the other end that he had a conversation with on the phone, I believe, last year. Mm -hmm. um, that guy that, like, tipped him off or whatever. Yeah. Or not, didn't tip him off. He talked to him, like, during the plane. He t talked thing. to him while, he, like, on the bar when he landed. He's like, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. Um, I got You know what it made me think of? It made me think of, like, how badass that fight scene was in the plane in the first season. We need more of that, guys. That was really cool. Come on, guys. Yeah. And I know people are like, it can't be like that every episode. Yes, it can. The one problem. You watch Branchy. The only problem with that scene. Is they filmed it clearly at a separate time because um, Cassidy had an undercut, like a haircut like mine, mm -hmm. in that scene, mm -hmm. and never again. In the nineteen even in forty six. No, in the um when he's fighting in the plane, like with the thing we were just oh, talking. Oh, you're right. He had that, and then he, later in that episode, he had regular hair. I didn't even notice that. I'll have to go back and check mm -hmm. that out. Mm -hmm. oh, shit. Well, that was something I noticed in this episode. Was in 1946, and now he's got the same hairstyle, which it's I pretty feel, close, yeah. Which is kind of uh, bullshit. That's not. Do you know anybody that's had the same hairstyle? No. For. <laughs> I think you've had a. You've had. You've got. How, what you, you know got five what? years on that? Oh, you've got five maybe years on longer. That? Maybe close to 10. Maybe really? I, I'm feeling like bullshit's coming in. Maybe I said but, some bullshit. But this is 1946 to 9. That's to a long time. It's a long time to, to, unless you're like a keep it buzz short kind of guy. Mm -hmm. and there's a few people online that were kind of speculating, you know, is this before he got bit or is this, this mm. after? You know, like that's another thing too. So I, I'm interested. Do you think in, people in the 40s shave their faces? I think they should. He would. I th don't you think of Cassidy? I mean, there were beards, but I feel like he probably would have clean shaven it, yeah. unless he already start stopped giving a fuck at that point. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like I he, mean, he did walk into a, a like a maternity ward with a flask in his pocket. Well, it's 1946. That is singing it, about Charlotte slash Scarlet. If, <laughs> um, but uh, the harlot. No, now I think it's about the girl named Scarlet. <laughs> I'm gonna change my narrative. Yeah. But no, no, no. So. Um, I, I think the flask is fine in 1940s. I really wish I would have practiced that song a little bit more. I think you're not giving yourself enough credit. Well, like, it didn't even have the chords. I couldn't find the chords at all, so I had to make them up. It's good. It was really good. Okay. 
It was, it was good for I someone. made them up so that they would go exactly with closing time. Yeah, I'm not going to suck your dick anymore about that. No, don't. Do no, I don't. I'm not asking for that. I'm not asking for that. I'm just... Jesus, saying, Morty. Just let me just let me talk about my insecurities sure. and say, okay, Nate. Fair enough. Okay, fair enough. Nate. But, but uh, you know me. You start... If I keep if you keep doing the same thing, I'm going to go the other way. Yeah. Which means I'm going to flip and be like, it was pretty awful. Right. <laughs> Thank you for you your should honesty. should bad. You should go on Reddit and apologize. Um... All over my soundboard. Anyway, so... <laughs> what if your soundboard was right there? Because it is. Hold on. Hold on. A little bit louder. Ah. 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 <laughs> the literal worst. I gotta, we got to talk about this real quick. So, uh, we go catch movies every now and then. There's, there's been a lot of really good movies this year. So, you and I have probably seen the most movies this year than we have We've seen a lot. Because there's so many good ones that are coming out. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> We go to a theater. Uh, it's Marcus Point. There's a whole bunch of Marcus theaters, owned by this guy, Mr. Marcus. I can't remember his first name. Oh. And I got. I've never really said this out loud, but those, and you can tell by the way I act, those annoy the living piss out of me. Because, look, I like your theaters, Mr. Marcus. They're top notch, pal. I'm gonna keep coming to them. You're gonna get my dollar, and I'm gonna recommend that people come and see it. I've recommended so many people switch to go to that theater, and for us, it's like so close. You've got the um, Ooh, the reclining the, seat. Reclining seats. The food is incredible. There's a full freaking bar with a huge uh, like projector screen in the back where you can watch games. They were watching Twister while we were there. It's fantastic. Oh, it's a big boy. Yeah. Do you want Col- a- Colorado or California? Uh, I'll do I'll do, uh, do Colorado. Okay. I think it's Colorado. That's Colorado. It's, it's a big boy. So anyway, um, Marcus, Mr. Marcus, your theater is fantastic. But after you sit there and wait through all the trailers, which usually I like trailers, but when you go to a lot of movies, you see the same ones. Um... Once we've set through all of the trailers, then a video comes on that Mr. Marcus has shot. For a while, it was him sitting there playing piano and a guy playing bass, and you couldn't hear the bass at all in the song. <laughs> and he's like, okay, let's do it. You know, and what he does, he's like, thank you for coming to our theater. Thanks for enjoying it. Kick back and relax. And don't forget, turn your cell phone off. And you guys have a good day. He doesn't say that verbatim. Mm-hmm. It, that's what he's saying, though. Mm-hmm. He's made a new one where he's sitting in the seat himself, and he's like, mm, the smell of popcorn, all the things that bring you out to the theater. He's like, just take you away from the rest of your life. You don't hear the the phone ringing, and, ring, like, ring, ring. and he goes, you don't hear the the uh, you don't have to worry about burning the food on the stove. And then well, you hear like, five, five, boop, boop, boop. Yeah. yeah, and he's like, he does like three things with these shit like these like noises. Things. And so after that happens, every time I lean over to whoever I'm sitting with, I go, you don't have to worry about falling down a manhole. Woo. You don't have to worry about walking upstairs. Clop, clop, clop. Or you don't have to worry about the steamboat. <laughs> and I do that every time. Dude, stop it. Yeah. I know you got a theater and you're like, I get to be on screen. And I yeah. get that. I would probably indulge myself yeah. too. But it's whack, Mr. Marcus. It's whack. He- le- help help me help you. Let's do, let's do I'm Mark, putting this Mark, out right now. Mark Marcus. Is it Mark Marcus? No, it's not, but it is now. Mr. Marcus, if you want a better video, hit me up. We will hook you up on something people will go, I love watching the Marcus videos. Yeah. We'll make a bunch of them. Here, watch this. Watch this. Here's one. I'm gonna. Here's one for free. You know what's better than this? Go to the movies. There we go. Look at that. That's one for free. But anyway, that's... you want another one? Too bad. You're paying us. All right, I'm off my soapbox about that. Yeah. But anyway, I don't. Really... You could pay me in the crisp, refreshing soda of Diet Mountain Dew. Yeah. No, I. Uh, that's so hard to like take a little bit when it's so full. I feel like yeah. an idiot. I okay. overfilled it, and then I, uh, well, I, went, I kept with it. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sin boldly. Martin <laughs> Luther used to say, pe- Martin Luther said, Pekka Fortiter, which means sin boldly. I'm not really sure the theology behind that saying, but no. I take it to mean just make a big, list loud mistake. Sure. All right, so um, before we get into emails, if we have any, is there anything else you want to talk about on the episode? I, I no. hope I'm not skipping anything, but if we have emails, they'll be talked about for sure. But... Don't, I don't hate... People get, like, upset when I give my full opinion about something. People don't really understand that I'm crazy honest. Because, just because it was a tweener doesn't mean I didn't have a good time. I'd rather watch this episode than literally any episode of Under the Dome. Like, I'd rather watch this episode than even the best episode of Walking Dead. You know? Like, I I, mm-hmm. I, I, st- I love the show, and I'm excited yeah. about a build-up. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in Do the... people get upset with you when you... Speak your mind about not liking that show? <laughs> a lot. Oh. People hate it. I don't understand. People, like, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. People have different opinions on things. Not everyone has to like the same things. Sure. 
I don't understand. The only opinion that I have that's not an opinion, it's a fact, and but people surprisingly don't have a problem with this, is stating that Breaking Bad is the best show ever. Oh, uh, yeah, I think... I say that and people go, they don't argue with me about that one. I don't think people argue with that one, no. It must mean something. Well... So what emails do we have? We have a couple emails. We have one from Bricktails, one from Shinogle. You which one? You, 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 I'll do this first one. Which one were that? Oh, this one's nice and short. I want some whiskey. This is uh, from Bricktails. Okay. If you want to send us an email, send it to BalticEffect at gmail.com. Oh, that's suspenseful. Me meow, gentlemen, and pretty kitty. Meow, I still... Meow. She's literally smelling the, the toy. <laughs> She knows how to perform, man. You know what's better than this toy? I just re see it. There's take two if you now, want a I'm second gonna, take. I'm going to uh, put in a keyword for this, like the search things. Yeah. I think you should. <laughs> I hope. I hope when person gets it to him, he's just like, "Hey, all right, fine. Get those in." He doesn't talk like that at all. He does. He's got a very nice voice. But like, I hope he's like, "Get them in here," you know, like, "Bring them to me," yeah. you know, on his giant uh, movie throne. And they, they made out of movies. We get like thrown to the ground in front of him sitting on his throne, yeah. his movie throne. And he's just like, You think that you can do a better video than me? And we're like, Yes, sir, it's whack. And he's just like, Bring them the cameras. <laughs> okay, Mr. Smart Man. And that's how we win the village. Mm hmm. Someone's been playing DD. Anyway, sorry. I'd rather eat a skunk's balls than miss writing to you again. But I've got to run. I'd just like to note that the worst punishment in hell appears to be bad karaoke. Mm. Anyways, sorry, I'll write more next week. Till then, this is New Orleans. We've seen it all before, and worse. Bricktails slash Bruce. Woo! Woo! Yeah, no, we, we didn't mention the... I mean, we we did, but we didn't mention the... Um... Closing time. One last call for alcohol. Okay, just saved it for the end, and we could have... I have to do it again at the end. It's gonna be weird. I as soon as they started singing that, I was cringing. Hard. Well, and, and you, we, we had a little discussion about oh. that song because you go, "Why did you sing it?" And I oh. said, "Because that's a funny song. It's it not the funny. funniest, but it is a funny song." I mean, it's fine. It's just so. If cool. you're gonna choose like one that's mm -hmm. not appropriate for that moment at all, you know what? I think I would have said the same. And thing, then both even just even sitting there crying, song. looking at each other, going. Take me home. I think the reason I said and why is because it key, makes me cringe. It the key shifting, the key shifting, the singing out of tune slightly. It sounds, he's singing his very best at the very beginning. But you agree with with me in that it sounded like these kids had reappropriated it for a Christian singing, didn't it? It did seem like that. <laughs> I think I think no matter what the song would have been, if it was equally as yeah. good bad as that song. I would have still said, why that's, it just made me, yeah. it felt so awkward to watch. He was like, I feel like seeing him, I'm like, please don't, just don't, please don't. If you could don't, um, but no, great scene, great freaking scene. I uh, know. Somebody today showed me a meme that's apparently old and I didn't know about it. And it's, uh, uh, it says, uh, anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pictures of anybody playing music or anything. That was kind of funny. So anyway, uh, Shane writes us, he says, hola, hola, what's up guys? Had a question, so I was going to wait. Oh, hey, not much. How about you? I was magnifying some video to try and catch a killer, you know, like they do in the shows. And I found these bullet points. Bullet points. Bullet point one. Damn, Eugene got fit. Maybe I should go visit hell for a few weeks and get in shape. Don't go to hell. Don't go to hell, Shane. We like you. I mean, just for a few weeks. Don't go to hell. For a few weeks? Yeah. Get get your Zagnut on. <laughs> Punch Hitler. <laughs> I would. You think I, he'll I, sound great? You know who I want to rough up is. Um, it was only date rape. They said yes to the date. Mm -hmm. Um, not. I want to hit like. I, don't write in, folks. I want to punch him equally bad for the rapes as much for the double pop collars. Like I want to punch him equally as much for both of those things. I think that's fair. I think you have it coming too. If you yeah, do. but that actor. I feel kind of bad about it because that actor, I think he's a good actor, he was also in 13 Reasons Why as ostensibly, spoiler alert, the date rapist. But check out 13 Reasons Why. Next bullet point. Here's uh, one. Because it's fun. <laughs> it's not fun. Here's two. It's about a girl that kills herself. <laughs> Kids. Killing yourself is a fun way okay, to solve next, your problems. Next bullet point. You, I have no idea why Eugene and if Tracy there's say kids closing making time fun of you at school. I did. Uh, I have no idea why Eugene and Tracy saying closing time, but it was pretty fun. 
Next bullet point. Cass's friend on the phone implied Cass had lots of kids. I wonder if we'll ever see any of Dennis's siblings on the show. <laughs> okay, next bullet point. Um, Grill Industries advertises. Why? <laughs> I thought the same thing. Aren't they a secret paramilitary organization? Why are they ever what are they advertising for? Yeah, I agree. Count Chocolate can suck it. <laughs> Where are you on about Count Chocolate? Are you good? You know what? I'm not really into either of those cereals. I don't really like chocolate cereal. Yeah, right? You don't do chocolate I'm more cereal? of a I'm more of a honey nut Cheerios. Yeah, those are delightful. Those are good. Checks. My checks are good. I'll do a cornflake. You know me. Oh, like you know, I'll fuck Jones. up some pops. Yeah, pops is good. Yeah, I, I gotta I, have my pops. I think if they didn't uh if they had better integrity, um what's his face? The captain. Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. Those are fun, but if you eat like too quick, it'll like cut the roof of your mouth. Plus, your pee smells like no, that's smacks. Your pee smells like smacks. If you eat too much of smacks, how much smacks like do you have to eat to smack? I've eaten a lot of smacks, and it smells like honey. Pee pee. Huh. Kind of want to try that now because my pee smells like pee. Oh, uh, next bullet point. How much money do they have? I, it's a good thing to bring up. Two of just decided they need a new fridge, and no one said anything. How much does that the was fridge a, cost? That though? was a, that fridge. It looked like it was over a grand. If I remember correctly, when I was looking at the tag, how much do you think they took from those people? She, Probably she a lot, but still, one, seriously, she that's, got hundred to one odds on that big gun. Right, but yeah, and that's they true. Took everything. That's true. That's Plus, true. she kept going back for more money. Yeah, I think right now it she's just seems high. like a really huge impulse purchase. Ah, eh, you know, PTSD. Mm. Like when Walt is all of a sudden like getting a tankless thing. Well, Walt's different. He's the devil. Anyway, that's they must it. all have a bunch of cash because Cass did mm -hmm. buy. All those toys for Dennis. Yeah, and you know, you, you've you uh, said that to me. I never really considered it before, even though I thought about it, but it was never like a big thing. But when shows don't talk about money, I get a little aggravated. Yeah, it's a, it, ma it makes me anxious, actually. <laughs> Next bullet point. Um, after that, my notes stop and become a series of doodles. I'm sure I had more really insightful thoughts, though. Okay, until next week. Shinogle. Thanks, Shane. Yeah, thanks, Shane. Thanks, Brick. Tell us if you want to be like these awesome people. Send us an email to balticeffect at gmail.com. Send your quiz questions at nate at natebjork.com. Mm -hmm. Anything else for you this week? Yes, I do. Trent mm -hmm. is nice. Nate is nice. Stella's, Stella's a pretty, pretty kitty, kitty, and we, we love, love you. you. Like she would, oh. like I was afraid she'd like. She's so good. You know what, Stella? You were really good for the TV. We're gonna have to get you up, cause you know what? She chills out when we record. I wonder if she'd like chill out on the bar. Let's get the whiskey away from her. Like if we just, I don't want her. I don't think she's ever been up here before. <laughs>